Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in true Fricker Edge fashion, I'm way behind in videos as usual. Uh, I'm currently working two jobs and trying to maintain a YouTube channel and I don't want to just put out crap videos. So I've got like six videos filmed. Um, just haven't edited any of them yet. Uh, hopefully that will come soon. Um, so I guess just in the meantime, I'll post up this boring, well, probably boring, uh, video. It might be interesting to some people. I don't know. Uh, video of quick rundown of the crew cab, its story, what I did to it, and then we'll go over what uh, needs to be done to it. So uh, enjoy that. More videos are coming, uh, some 4x4 adventure videos, um, some Pathfinder videos, hopefully some crew cab videos soon. Um, but yeah, they're coming. <laughs> Well, hopefully we're finally gonna get going back on this now. Um, for those who don't know, here's a quick catch up and story of this truck. This is my 81 GMC crew cab. Started life as a two wheel drive factory big block auto truck. And I daily drove it until the 454 quit out on me. It's rust free. It has a few dents and dings, but for the most part, it's pretty straight. Once the big block craft out, I put in my healthier big block and just never got around to driving it pulled that back out and it sat for a while and then two summers ago i brought it home started converting it to four-wheel drive and put a different big block in it cleaned up all the frame rails and everything uh, lifted it about somewhere between six and eight inches and then needed money so i put it up for sale and ended up having to sell the big block out of it so then after that i rebuilt a small block for it set on propane i put that in and then lost my house and had to move uh truck went into my new house's big garage which i didn't get to work on it and lost that house too and now it is sitting in the driveway behind my new new house and we're hoping to get it together and make an off-road wrecker out of it. Well, I think spring is here, or at least fall spring number two. Uh, so we're going to start going back on this a little bit. Um, it's been like six, seven months since I've actually got to really work on it. And uh, I've moved it twice. So that's... First thing I gotta do is go through it, see what all it needs, see what all it's missing, see what all I have for it. And then maybe we can do some basic stuff like putting the front end back on it so it's uh, complete. And maybe, maybe get it running. That will move anytime soon, but we can at least possibly get it running depending on what I have kicking around the garage. Alright, I pulled the tarp off the engine. Uh, and see what all needs to be done in here. I need proper bolts for the water pump pulley. Uh, those ones are the wrong thread and they're just kind of finger tight in there just to hold that on. But I'll need the right ones and then a spacer on there to put my solid fan on. Uh, we gotta get that bolted down. I believe I have the proper bolts i don't know where i think they're in the truck maybe uh that's why we'll have to go through the whole thing and see what i have um i think we'll have to put oil in it uh, i have a distributor for it i'm not going to put it in yet because the last minute before i get this fired up we'll drop the distributor in um because just before that i want to pressurize it with 
the uh, the tool for that and then we'll get that all pressurized but first I got to go through and get everything else done so I can pressurize it drop the distributor in run wires to the plugs and fire it up all right uh anyways continuing uh we need gaskets for the exhaust because I don't think they're in there I have some somewhere I just gotta find them I believe I gotta check the motor mount bolts but I believe the nuts still aren't on the back of them um what else do we need for the front here we need to put an alternator in it we need plugs they should have a set kicking around here hopefully um we need wires which again I, I should have a set um won't worry about the rat or anything yet just want to get it fired well i might drop the rat in so people can't see through that there's a nice engine in here because hood doesn't close although i could put the hood release latch wherever that is in this mess right there i could connect that back up if i could find the mechanism which hopefully is in the truck it's kind of a snowballing effect of stuff um and yeah front end needs to be put back on i think just because it's sitting out here in the alleyway i won't put the nice headlights in until i'm actually driving it i'll just put the stock ones back in for now because someone could easily just walk away with those um i still need to find a ton of bolts so i think i might go pick and pull there's a few square bodies i'll get a bunch of hardware i don't even think they charge for that so i can just pocket it and walk out um need to put in the other inner fender which is sitting right there. I was hoping to paint those first. I might pull that one back out, clean them up, and rocker guard them before I go back in. Uh, we still got a lot to do to the rear end. Still got to make sure everything's all straight and square in here. And then finish drilling and bolting all our holes. Um, I'm going to move the shock mounts so i can actually properly bolt up the shocks or create shock mounts at the top i've discussed this in a previous one um because this was a one ton and this is a three quarter ton axle it's still a one ton axle but it came from a three quarter ton so the only difference is um the placement of the perches which we've dealt with because we used the donor trucks perches over there um and the shock mounts for some reason the one times they said decided to do it this way or this way instead of this way and you can still see the factory shock sitting in there on that side um so we either got to move those mounts to over there so that shock could bolt on or we got to cut off and move these mounts so that they can be opposing um which i don't really have a welder anymore i sold mine and i don't have 220 that's why i sold it so i'm not sure what to do there um kind of flip through the stuff in the back already oh yeah i gotta get the propane ho hose hooked up um nothing really back here that's immediate stuff I got trans cross members and uh, um, some mud flaps and stuff. So nothing really important right now. The rad, just still have to make mounts and stuff for. And back here, I also found these two guys, which will be helpful. Um, that's for the brake booster and throttle linkage. So I may need that. Uh, I won't need the brake booster to get it running, but stopping, yes and i don't know if we'll be able to use that with this rad i think this rad was in this truck before so i don't know um still need to do exhaust i set the exhaust back up after moving just for a display because i like to see it um uh, yeah and then we got to go through everything that's in the truck got the grill in here oh, the fan shroud propane hoses serpentine hoses which i'm not going to be using serpentine so those do this no good a lot of the stuff in here is not going to do this any good um it was just for moving twice um, got more propane stuff there 
Some more hoses. Oh my god. Hoses, hoses, hoses. Um, gaskets down there, which will be helpful. Um, they were in a box on the dash, but after a certain U-Haul unloading incident. <laughs> um, they ended up all over my lap. I guess I'll just keep going through this stuff. I won't bore you guys with going through every little piece. I'll probably bore you with this whole video and there's probably nobody viewing it right now anyways. So that might be the thing I might need to nab from uh, pick and pull. I need a dipstick tube. I have no idea where the one for this went. But now I'm not sure what one to get because uh, this is a TBI block. So I don't think I can just get one from a square body. I, I think I might have to get one from a TBI, which there's a couple of those at pick and pull too, I believe. So yeah, trip to pick and pull, date with the wifey. Uh, maybe I could get some, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see what's there at pick and pull. There's three square bodies there right now. Uh, I quickly looked them over a little while ago, just because I was there for stuff for the wife's truck. We'll have to go back and see now that I've gone over this and refreshified my memory. All right, found the front end parts, all the gaskets and bolts that I need to directly do some immediate stuff just to get into this. I've made kind of a quick list of stuff that I needed. I already found some, but most of this I will have to go to pick and pull for. And of course I got over there a bunch of stuff that uh, planes live right in the flight path. Like, right in the flight path. I'm worried I'm going to get, like, poop dumped on me or something. Um, yeah, and then I got, found more brackets and stuff I've been storing up. And a bunch of other stuff that's under here. So hopefully, uh, that's what I need. I get the throttle linkage all hooked up. And, yeah, I could have this running in the next little while here. With, uh with a pick and pull trip and if i can find some oil that looks way better a little bit more complete um uh, it's a little more complete in here too a uh, little problem the studs i have for the car aren't long enough um the back ones i can kind of squeeze them in there but the front ones there's one in there right now on the last red and it's nowhere close um, got all the header gaskets in. Uh, looks like that linkage should work for this. I just need a throttle return spring, uh, which I will add to my list of things I need. Um, yeah, slowly coming along. So next thing I think I got to deal with the valve covers. Um, I don't feel like making some studs for those ones. Um, and there is a, still a chance I might sell this truck. And if anybody's followed my channel knows those valve covers are rare and uh, important to me. So I'm gonna swap them out for just these uh, basic chrome ones. Plus these have all the grommets and everything in them. So I can just throw them on. Uh, they were a little dirty and rusty, but they, they didn't clean up too bad, I guess. So I'll throw those on. I got all the bolts for those and got uh that at pick and pull that was like 16 dollars that was ridiculous um so yeah we're gonna throw those in and uh also got a whole bunch of hardware while i was at pick and pull so i can finish bolting all this together 